design optical coherence tomography system actually i will write a simulation code in matlab just to see that how can you simulate before writing the code in c++ which will be mfc based say this is our optical coherence tomography setup this is the laser source this is our laser source and light is passing through this point here so this is 50 50 splitter if this is 50 50 splitter then 50 percent will light pass through this path another 50 percent will light pass through this path light will travel to the sample here so this is our sample and eventually come back here and also here is a mirror so when light will pass through this path it will bounce back again and it will come back and they will combine in the line scan camera so another part is just for the fluorescent system so I will not go in detail about that say for example in our setup we have the line rate of 30k and you can say you can change this parameter I will show you these are the minimum and maximum galba voltage and so to run the galbo we have to get some trigger and duration I will explain in detail these are two parameters for trigger duration and trigger delay and we have to design that how many line per frame you want so for example say we want 1024 but you can define another value 2048 or 4096 it's usually multiplication of 2 to the power n base now you have to sectionize like how many how many section you want per frame for my design i'm using the 8 frame and also to save the data you have to keep some gap so section between frame is one now first let's ignore this part first and let's say that let's say that we will collect 100 frame in a volume but in between volume we gonna have some gap so we set this parameter as a 50 that gap parameter is a 50 now in angiography what we do is uh, we collect the data from the same point for consecutive several points so if we set 8 that means that galbo position will be at the same position for consecutive 8 points that means galbo will not move after 9 point it will move to different position the advantage of this is that as the galbo is not moving so we are collecting the data from the same position of the sample so for that reason we will be able to average the phase data from the same position so now these are the parameters so then first what you need to do is we need to generate the trigger signal so based on the previous parameter that we design here the trigger duration is 5 microsecond and trigger delay is 0.2 second we can generate this kind of triggering signal I'll go in detail how we wrote the code so now based on the triggering signal now we have to see what will be the first axis as our parameter we said that in the first axis we will have only 1024 so this is up to 1024 points we see that calvo value changing now it's coming back and again changing and if you zoom in you can see that for each a line the galbo position is moving galbo position will move because of the changes of galbo voltage and see that in between the in between two frames there is some gap point you can see that it's, it's not coming back sharply it's, it's coming back slowly you can see here in more detail that it's coming back slowly we i used a cosine function 
to smooth out the galbo transition from one frame to next frame. I will show in my MATLAB in detail. So for the slow axis, for the slow axis the galbo position will remain the same position for a particular frame then again it will move to the new position and again it will remain same. This is for particular frame. This is for a frame. Now this is the in between frame how the galbo will change from one position to next position. Now what about in between volume? Say for example in our case we are assuming that like we are collecting data for the five frame for a volume then we are having it. So if you don't do anything that means if you don't make any transition that means galbo will change abruptly from the this top position to here but you can add some cosine function like a smoothing function that will just come back slowly here you can see that this is the data we acquire for one volume this is volume one this is the smooth transition and this is for the second volume and again this is for b2 again this in between volume so if you look at how things will go in the fast axis faster it will be changed like this in between volume is cap like this so if we combine everything then we will see that this is a zoom in version you'll see this is the, these are the triggering pulse it changing something like that and here corresponding that this is the fast axis and this is the slow axis it's not changing because we are only showing only small amount of data here you can see that for the data of several volumes that like the fast axis is moving fast the slow axis is remain constant then again moving something like that and these are just all the data this is the zoom in version and for the end geography what we will do is that if we set that parameter for end geography equal to 8 that means for the 8 consecutive points the fast axis galvo voltage will not change again it will change from 9 to 15 like this way these are the triggering pulse triggering pulse so now in part 2 we will show how to do these things in MATLAB thank you very much